Hello everyone. We're back again for another. Oh, what was that? Oh, I see lights up in the sky. Another mobile live stream. Hello everybody. Welcome. Well, a little bit of light. No. It's going to get dark. Everybody behave. I got my wife with me. She's over here. Say hi, Jenny Moons. Hi. <laughs> she hates the camera. She doesn't want to be on the camera. But she's hanging out with me anyway. So we're out, uh, this is our third broadcast today, and uh, it's been a good day. This morning was great, and then this afternoon, earlier before supper, I went out and um, didn't fly the drone, but had the DJI Osmo on top of the van, and we're showing you where I live, and uh, the Blue Water Bridges, where I live, Blue Water Bridges in Sarnia, Ontario. You can give that a Google if you like. Whoops, didn't mean to tap on Twitter. But uh, welcome to the live stream. Let's get some stuff up here so you guys know what I'm doing. Well, I know what I'm doing. And I'm on a mission. Where did I put my glasses? I'm on a mission to find my glasses. <laughs> Where are my... Oh, there they are right there. Can't see. I can't find my glasses because I can't see. All right. So I'm on a, a, um, a mission to reach 2,000 followers. That's my goal. So if you're new to the channel, I'd appreciate you uh, just hovering over the top there. And then the follow button will show up. And you can click on that so you get notified every time I go live. And let's see. What other cool stuff can I put up here? Make it look all pro. There you go. You can do that. Or we could, uh, let's see. Let's get fancy schmancy. Want to see two of me? <laughs> Probably not. Uh, let's see if I want to do this. We'll go bing and bing. There, how about that? Welcome to Deals with David. We're going to fly the drone. We're going to fly the drone. It's getting, it's starting to get dark, sunset-ish. So I have to move fast. So, um, I'm curious, anybody out there have a drone? If you do, let me know in the chat. What, what kind of drone do you have? Or maybe you're thinking about getting a drone. Uh, if you're thinking about getting one, you're definitely in the right place. This is the DJI Mini 2. Look at that. And it's like, there's my hand. That's how small it is. Now that's folded up, of course. But once we get this puppy up in the air, you'll, you'll see the beauty of it. This thing will take 4K video. There is. There's a deer. It, no, that's not a deer. It is a deer. It is a deer. Doe a deer. Wow. Oh, see, I wish I had... And he's just running... Oh, there's two of them. Oh, see, I wish I had the camera there. They're chasing each other. Is it mating season? Yeah, maybe. <laughs> wow. <laughs> that's hilarious. Too bad I wasn't up in the air with the drone. Right? Yeah. We're going to get this thing up quick because it's starting to get dark. You guys will see... Hello and welcome. Okay, we're gonna put this in here. I get this off. Where are you guys watching from? Is this your first time in the channel, or are you coming back? Um, there we go. Yeah, welcome. Okay, I've got to get moving here so that I don't lose light. But this is how quickly you can get up in the air. This Let's see here, open all up here. Wow, how much power do we have? Okay, we need a fresh battery. Right. Thanks, honey. You're good for something today. <laughs> You did. You fed me well. You fed the family. We had the kids over for supper earlier. We had taco wraps, or what, what, what do you call that? Taco stuff? Tacos? All right. So I don't know if you guys uh, have ever seen a drone up in the air, but you're going to get that privilege right now. So there's the uh, controller. I'm going fast because 
I'm losing light. Now it's okay to fly at night. You can actually fly pretty good at night with this DJI Mini 2, which is in the carousel below. I also want to give a shout out to my friends at Hollyland for the uh, microphone that I'm using, the Hollyland uh, Lark 150 Dual Lav microphone, which is uh, number one in the carousel right now. But I want to get over to the DJI Mini 2 Fly More combo. If you're going to get into these drones and you can get the combo, it just makes total sense to do that. Let's check my battery power. Yeah, okay, we're good, 93%. We get this all connected here. And then I got to get out of the van for a minute, do our pre-flight check. And uh, oh yeah, I need to. Oh, maybe this way. You need to screen share the controller so you can see the flight. That would be nice, wouldn't it? If you can see what's going on. Okay, let's get that in here. Display. So let's see, how do I want to do this? So, there's me, there's that, and uh, yeah, we'll do it like that, how about, alright, so now you're seeing the controller, and we're going to get things fired up here, alright, so we're going to turn this on, okay, we know that's connected, and now we'll get the drone fired up. Okay, now I gotta get out of the vehicle because I gotta do a compass thing, so you won't see me, but you'll still hear me. You'll still hear me. Give us You can see already. Um, well, I can take a picture of that. Take off with caution. What's it doing here? No GPS signal. It's still trying to find a signal. So it takes a few minutes. Calibration. So we calibrate. So we will pick it up. Turn it around. So it's found the home point. We're just doing a compass calibration by turning this around and around. And it says calibration successful. So now we can get ourselves up in here here. Check 15 years. Okay. So I always give it a few seconds here so that uh, it gets the home point and we'll be good to go here. Okay, and we're going to get ourselves into, uh, I'm actually going to make that a little bit bigger so you can see and appreciate more. What if I do this? There you go. Get rid of that there. So this is where we're at. And up we go. We're going to get into record mode. Get away from the wires. Probably going to catch a sunset here. So I just want to tilt things down and try to get better lighting. If my son was here. Okay, let's put this in do not disturb mode. <laughs> it is in do not disturb mode. Okay. Julie's texting me. I don't know. <laughs> I can't respond right now. Uh, 
stop for a minute. Auto. So you can adjust the lighting. I want to say. Hmm. Auto mode? Okay, maybe. So you can see how we're. We'll get recording here. Uh, let's just get up in the air. That might be better, right? Alright. Hey Blake, how are you? Holler back to you. Hello Julie. I mean Jennifer, holler back. <laughs> oh, you guys saw that up on the screen. Oh, maybe. Yes. We'll get back to that. That's my daughter texting me. <laughs> um... So we're up in here, a little more here. We're about 50 meters up. So we're actually higher than our bridge. I'd really like to get better lighting on this if I could. I think we kind of missed the sunset though. But this is in the evening. This is about, uh, what time is it? 9.30 where we were at, 9.30 Eastern. And we're, this is just 1080p mode. So, just to give you a kind of a clue as to what we're looking at here. Now, let's just stop for a minute. I still think. My son was here, he'd know. That's too dark. Too dark. I think it just might be too dark. Now it's also got the GPS map on it here, if I tap on that. So you can actually go in full mode here. In the video down on the bottom, right? So we actually kind of know where we're going. So I don't really want to come back just yet. This will actually go 10 kilometers away from us. Now we're not going to go that far. I just want to go for a trip and see what's going on. And we got the bugs in my way. <laughs> Put things down a bit so we can kind of see. So, our first night flight here, we're about 300, we're 400 feet away, right? So, now here's the trick. I've got lots of battery power, but it's starting to get dark. So, you can see the blue line on the GPS there. Go a little slow here. It's going to be hard to see much because it's not really designed for night flight. If we had the sun set out, we'd catch some light in there and things would turn out pretty good, but uh, it's starting to get darker and I need to be able to get back. <laughs> now that being said, um, and I'm thinking that that little, wow, is that little silver spot right there? That's probably us. There, honey, there's our headlights. <laughs> oh, you see, right. Okay. So that's our headlight. Watch this. So we're going to come back. Uh, I've got some wires around us here too, so I want to make sure that we're not running into anything. But it's okay because I have the GPS. And we're okay. But see, this is Jennifer's like, yeah, she's nervous right now about, about the hydro wires. And I get that. Yeah. Um, it's all kind of about getting used to all of this. And trusting it. Now I'm going to come down. 
I'm going to get out of the van here for a moment just to make sure I know what I'm doing because you can see the flashing lights actually. Of us there. Let's see. Over the other way. Just so my wife feels better. <laughs> Looking, we saw some deer earlier. It's too bad we didn't get out a little, a little sooner. But I'm gonna go for a little flight. Bring it up. Yeah, it's getting too dark now, right? So. Whoops. There we are. <laughs> There's me. So come on back. All right, there we are. set things down right there you go nothing to it all right feel better honey yeah. <laughs> Jennifer was getting a little nervous but that's okay all right we're back safe and sound well, I'm sorry we didn't get a little sooner to where we would have uh, maybe caught the, uh, what's going on with the camera here? There we go, it's catching up. So we'll shut everything off. Be ready for next time. Short flight, but But these drones are really high tech. I mean, this DJI Mini 2, uh, again, you can fly it 10 kilometers away. Now, I don't recommend flying it 10 kilometers away, even in daylight. Um, in fact, they're depending on your regulations. Here where I live, there's a thing called VLOS, which is visual line of sight. You must always have it in visual line of sight, which makes sense, right? I'm gonna put some light on here so I can put things away properly. You guys still watching out there? I'm gonna check the chat here in just a minute, but I kinda of got my hands full with the drone. It's got this nice uh, propeller protector, which the Mavic Mini before this did not have. It definitely makes a difference. Because the propellers are kind of important. All right, so I'll get this put away here. see <laughs> there we go all right so if you're just joining joining welcome to the channel and uh, if this is your first time here and you're enjoying so far uh, everything that's going on please do me a huge favor and just hover over and click the follow button you'll get notified every time I go live which is four days a week twice a day I am busy have to take the batteries in tonight we've been flying lots lately 
get about 30 minutes out of each battery. So it's really good flight time. Um, you can buy a system that is just the controller and the drone and one battery. But I guarantee you, once you get this thing up once for 30 minutes, that won't be enough. You'll want more batteries. So the Fly More combo just makes it... Extra batteries are like $55. So you get three batteries, uh, there's 160 bucks right there, right? So... Uh, I mean, you get a smart charger in there with it, so it just makes total sense to buy the Flymore combo. I'm going to shut things down here. I was using an iPhone XR or iPhone XR um, for the controller. And the other nice thing about this controller is it's got a lot of power as far as the battery life goes in it, and it actually keeps your phone charged while you're flying, so it does drain battery power of course but uh you can get like hours out of this don't quote me exactly but several hours more than more than the 90 minutes your batteries will last including charging your phone and having enough power in the controller to uh, get through all your your uh, 30 minute flights so dji is definitely smart when they come to designing things earlier today i had the dji osmo 2 on the roof of the van so i was showing everybody where i live so i'm a huge fan of dji products and if you're looking to get in the hobby you definitely won't go wrong with having the DJI Mini 2. Now, DJI makes a lot of different um, drones. So if you want to get into, like, bigger, more powerful, like if you're wanting to get into really high winds, this will actually handle up to 30-kilometer winds. Now, I don't necessarily recommend you getting into 30-kilometer winds. Is that too dark now? Is that creepy? <laughs> So for those of you, look at so many people out here watching you, uh, do me a favor, say hello in the chat. I'm going to figure this light thing out. Is there another way to, I don't want too much light on me, but a little bit. Is there one back there? I can never, I can never use that. Is that better? Shut that one off. As long as my head's in the way. <laughs> no, shut that one back off. <laughs> So we're just hanging out down here on one of the side roads. Out in the, well, we live in the city, but we're on the outskirts of town. On the outskirts of town? Is that is that from Don't Stop Believing? No. <laughs> on the outskirts of town? Is that a John Cougar song or something? You don't know? She's like, why are you talking to me? Why are you trying to include me in the live stream? Because <laughs> we can see your arm right there. That's, that's why. Nice. <laughs> what game are you playing? Nothing. Candy Crush? Yeah. You were lying to me. She's playing. Oh, it's not Candy Crush. Does anybody out there watching play Candy Crush? So the DJI Mini 2 uh, Fly More combo, you get um, the charger that comes with this has three batteries. Uh, so it comes with three batteries, and the charger that comes with this is really cool because the reason it's called an intelligent charger is that it actually doesn't charge all three batteries at the same time. What it does is it scans across all three batteries. And then it picks the one that is closest to being fully charged, and it charges that one first. So think about that for a minute. If you're flying up in the air and you've three of your batteries are dead, it makes sense to charge the one closest to being charged so it's ready and has the most power. And then it goes to the next one and so on. It also has a USB-A connector, so like a charger for your phone. You could plug that into um, the power. It becomes a power pack, and you could also charge your phone or anything else that charges with a USB uh, uh, a charging cord, your Android phone, your iPhone, whatever the case may be. So you're always going to have lots of power. You get some extra propellers as well. Um, if you're like me, I'm surprised I haven't gone through them yet, but uh, eventually you will need another pair of uh, propellers. And it usually happens when you're out flying the drone that you go, oh, crap. So you'll ha have those. And the, um, uh, the drone, of course, the controller and... The bag that it comes in is uh, weather resistant as well. Really durable. This is a, a, a tiny drone. It's a sub drone. It weighs 249 grams. So what that means is, at least here in Canada, and it's similar in the United States, check your local, check your local listings for details, check your local legalities, whatever. Um, but because it's under 250 grams, you don't have to register the drone and you do not need a license for flying the drone. Now. Some people take that as, ooh, no rules. Well, there are rules. Over here, anyway, it's the 900.01 rule. 
or, or that we refer to it as the don't be stupid rule, like don't fly too close to airports or over airplanes or anything like that, um, hydro wires, etc. <laughs> don't be stupid, right? Um, I went ahead and got my license anyway, even though it wasn't required of me, because I thought if I'm going to get into this as a serious hobby, and if I'm going to use this for any kind of commercial activity, which I do on occasion, um, what's a hobby for anyway? For learning, right? So I did take the time to study, and I'm so glad that I did. I learned so much about you know wind patterns and airflow and cloud formations and all that sort of stuff you might find boring in the beginning, but once you get up and you understand that you're really like you're flying something and there's so much that can affect it especially the wind for example it makes sense when you're flying when you fly away fly into the wind so that when you're coming back especially if you've flown far away and your battery gets low the wind is behind you pushing you back so it doesn't have to work as hard and therefore it doesn't use as much battery power if it works harder it's going to drain the battery even quicker and if you're coming back on a low battery you want to be able to save as much power as possible. So those kind of little things that you don't really think about until you start flying. And things can go wrong if you don't know what to do in an emergency situation. Like if you lose a signal, for example, what would you do? Well, it does have a safe, safe fail, what am I trying to say? Fail safe feature, say that five times fast, um, the return to home function. And that's why when I took off, I just let it hover for a couple of minutes so it can find its home point and find as many as the GPS satellites. We had about 26 GPS satellites connected to us. I'm going to put my window up because the bugs are coming in. All right. So lots to know about this drone. 4K video, uh, 30 frames per second, or 1080p at 60 frames per second. Now, I know it was kind of dark and hard to see, but even at 1080p, 60 frames per second, I can still zoom in four times on that video. Now, keep in mind when you're zooming in with the DJI Mini 2 that it is a digital zoom, not an optical zoom. So you're going to lose some resolution when you're zooming in, but it's still really clear, right? And along with that, taking pictures in 4K or 1080p, it's actually got some built-in features that I haven't demonstrated yet if you've been watching any of my drone videos, but um, it has what's called quick shots built into it. So... I can, for example, focus on a target like a person or a vehicle or a building, and then it'll do um, a spin around the building, keeping focused on the target, or it'll do a figure eight around that. There's a few other different, uh, what they call quick shots, built right into the app. Now, the DJI Fly app is a really powerful app, aside from what it does from controlling, like the GPS, and you saw... Uh, the GPS map that's on there as well. You can actually fly completely without video um, as long as you, you know, you're watching your drone in flight and the GPS will help you get back. If you get looking and you're like, okay, yeah, well, I kind of lost my bearings for a minute, at least you have the GPS to help get you home. Like I did here. It was getting dark and I was like, okay, can't see it anymore and that's not good. So to be safe, let's get back. So I focused on the uh, GPS followed the blue line back home or the yellow brick road if you will to get back home safe and sound that's like cooking your heels three times a return to home is very useful for that so whatever you do if you decide to purchase a drone any drone the first thing you do is take some time watch some youtube videos now i've gotten uh really attached to a couple of uh, folks on uh, youtube here in canada there's a man uh, by the name of Don Joyce, and he does a YouTube channel called Don Drones On. Very super intelligent. In fact, he has a lot of influence uh, in conversations with Transport Canada, who is the governing body for drones and, and aviation here in Canada. So I'd really highly recommend that even if you're not Canadian, following uh, Don um, and just checking out some of his videos. But it is very specific to Canada. Now, on the American side of things, um, I follow a guy by the name of Rick, and he goes uh, by the YouTube channel of Drone Valley. And I just love his presentation. He's really passionate about the hobby of drones. He gets really excited about it, and he knows his stuff, which is really important as well. And he'll even go over some cool gadgets. For example, if you wanted to be able to charge all three batteries at the same time, there is a third-party charger for that. And Don talks about that in his videos as well. 
as every Friday, I think he does like a tech gadget day. So if you're into cool tech gadgets like big kid like me, um, check him out, Drone Valley, on YouTube. And when you go there, tell him David Burrow sent you there. <coughs> Pardon me. So lots to know about drones. I'm always learning something every time I fly it. My son likes to fly it, and I will say he's a little more confident in the flying. He trusts the technology more. Um, I'm still getting used to that. I'm comfortable flying, but I like these open field areas where there's, like, not a lot in the way. <laughs> and the biggest thing I'm looking for is sunsets and trains and water and lakes and stuff. Now, if you're watching here live on Amazon Live, you can check out my other videos. And if you want a simple way to remember how to come back here, just go to dealswithdavid.live, and that'll bring you directly back here to all my Amazon Lives. And once again, if this is your first time, see lots of people watching, do me a favor, hover over and click the follow. If I make enough, like, did I make crazy things with my head or something? Do me a favor and click the follow button. I've got a goal to reach 2,000 followers by September 1st. And we're over the 115 mark as of today. We have like 15 new followers today. That's awesome. And if any of you have already followed, thank you so much. If you want to support a guy like me and help me reach a goal, and why would I want to reach 2,000 followers? We here on the Amazon Live Creators all have different levels. And we went through a process to be approved to be here. And we want to grow our channels more so that we can obtain more viewers and reach more people and offer more savings through Amazon. Now, speaking of savings, coming up on June 21st and June 22nd, if you don't know yet, is Amazon Prime deal two days, 21st, 22nd of June. Now, to be clear, unfortunately, there are some changes this year. Prime deal days will only happen on Amazon.com. It will not be happening on Amazon.ca because of COVID and the pandemic, for whatever reason that is. So, Amazon.com only. I'm going to be live probably for 12 hours each day because there are thousands and thousands of deals to be had on Amazon. So, again, mark that on your calendar, June 21st and June 22nd, the day after Father's Day. Speaking of which, there's still time to get Dad those special gifts. And uh, maybe Dad might lick one of these drones. I'm a dad. I'm 51. I have a drone. And for you kids out there, just so you know, I have grown kids. I tell them I do expect a good gift. I really do, other than a tie. I do tell them that, don't I, honey? I want a good gift. <laughs> so there's lots of cool gifts in my carousel down below. You see the DJI Mini 2. I do want to give a shout out once again to uh, Hollyland for the Lark 150 uh, lavalier mic that I'm currently wearing and you're listening to right now. I have used a lot of audio gear in my time. I was a disc jockey for many, many years, a karaoke host, and um, I've dealt with audio equipment and, and uh, microphones and mixing boards and all that stuff. And I can tell you, this is it right here. I know it's getting really dark out of here. I'm going to have to work on that light thing. <laughs> uh, but this is really tiny, small. It's a really solid product. Uh, I'll be talking about this again tomorrow. I'll be back live tomorrow about 2.30. I better check my calendar. 2.30 in the afternoon is about, uh, let's see, tomorrow, what do I got to do? Oh, you have your second vaccine shot tomorrow. I do. Very good. I will be live tomorrow at 2.30 in the afternoon, maybe even sooner. I think I might even, because I just, I really, you know, I love Amazon Live, don't I, honey? You do. <laughs> She's like, you do. And she just, it's, she's happy because she knows I'm happy. So tomorrow, sometime afternoon, uh, I will be going live again on Amazon. Let's we can turn the air on now. It's getting a little warm in here. A lot of hot air flowing in I here. Ah, you're funny. Uh -huh. All right. Just going to get my app. Open back up so I can see what you guys are saying, if you're saying anything. So with that being said, uh, for those of you watching, do you have any questions? Is there anything uh, about any of the products that you're seeing that uh, you want to ask me about? If you're watching on Facebook or YouTube, no, we don't want to look there, sorry. 
I occasionally will see your comments, but the best thing to do if you're watching on Facebook or YouTube, first of all, if you're watching on YouTube, do me a favor and hit the subscribe button there because I do other videos on my YouTube channels as well. Um, on my uh, Deals with David YouTube page, I will be doing some video reviews. And on the Show with David Burroughs page, uh, I do some drone videos, motorcycle videos, that sort of thing as well. Carl's out there. Okay, I don't know if you're still there, Carl. But just seeing these now. So he says, good evening, David and Jennifer. If you can see that, buddy. There you go. Carl says, hi, honey. Hi, Carl. <laughs> Where's the lawnmowers? Uh, good question. I know actually that the Western Ontario Outlaws were um, actually recalling a meeting. It might be Thursday night, I think. So we will see uh, what's happening there. Not, not really sure just yet. And 7-3, uh, back to you as well. I'll have to reach out and try to talk to you on the radio sometime, Carl. Carl's a ham radio operator who lives, I don't know, how far is Oshawa? Four hours? Yep. Four hours from where we live. But he's been down here to Sarnia uh, where we live as well. Hope you're keeping well, Carl. Yeah, we'll have to try to. And thank you for the love. Do appreciate that. But wherever you guys are watching from, uh, Carl, you included. I know I keep giving you a hard time about this. But the best place to watch is over here on Amazon Live. And here's why. When you watch over here, Amazon sees that I have more viewers and they push my uh, live stream out a little further, which helps me reach more people, which helps uh, me financially support the channel. So, and then you can click on the follow button as well so that you get notified when I go live. So I'm going live f twice a day, four days a week. Um, and then uh, bonus on the weekends, it's kind of like I don't commit to it because we ride motorcycles and we do stuff with the kids, etc. cetera. But, uh, um, you never know. And usually, if, if I, down on the weekend, my son and I will go out and we'll go fly the drone for an hour or something like that. And it's usually during the day, and we'll catch some trains. And last week we were out, I think it was uh, just up the street here, where the, there's a big solar farm. We'll try to find some cool stuff to show you guys, other than just coming in here and seeing some guy talking about buy this product, buy that product. All right, what's our time like here? Okay, we're still good. Got lots of power. I hope you're enjoying these uh, mobile broadcasts, even though it's a little dark in here for me right now. It's, uh, I do enjoy going live from the van, actually. Anybody can go live from home. I try to be different. And it's too bad I didn't have the drone up earlier to catch those deer running. That would have been freaking cool, man. Well, I was trying to tell you it was running across the road. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You know what you could have done? What? Honey, there's a deer running across the road. <laughs> <laughs> But she doesn't like being on camera. She doesn't want anybody here. It's Amazon. Nobody knows you, honey. Right. <laughs> um, if you're into podcasting and live streaming and, you, you know, sound, I've always said the sound is way more important than the video. You can have awesome 4K video and crappy audio and people will just walk away, not listen. And then, worst of all, they just won't come back. They'll be like, that sucked. You can put up with this dark whatever lighting that I have right now. I, I got to get some lighting for the van now. I guess what I got to buy. Um, guess you'll buy it off Amazon. I'll probably buy it off Amazon. <laughs> but you got to have good sound. <laughs> You're so funny. You yeah. got to have good sound quality. And the Blue Yeti microphone is a microphone that I've been using for about three, almost four years now, at least three years. And uh, they do have a newer version out, the Blue Yeti X. Here's the cool thing that happens, as you probably know, when new models come out, it's really good for the consumer because you can buy the older model, which is still a good model, at a lower price. Like right now, this is 17% off. This was originally 179 when I bought it a few years ago. Uh, it was down to 129 It's down, and you know what? It just keeps dropping because earlier today, this was like $115 this morning. And then, like, this afternoon, it was like $114.62. And now, and I don't know where they get these numbers from, it's $108.33. Just over $100 for this amazing microphone. Really great sound quality. A nice metal stand. 
It's all made out of metal. And you have four different audio patterns on the microphone. You have cardioid, you have bi-directional, omnidirectional, and stereo. Big words, let me explain. So cardioid is when the microphone is sitting in front of you. If, this, if my phone is the um, microphone and it's sitting down in front of me, when I talk, and this is the front, it's just picking up my voice right in front. It's not picking up anything else around. So that's cardioid. Now bidirectional, bi, two, is the front side and the opposite side of the microphone. So that would work great for like interviews. If you set it on the table and your guest is sitting across from you, um, then that microphone pattern will pick up both sides of the conversation, right? Stereo, just what it is, left side and right side channel, okay? And then omnidirectional, all the way around. Everything around that microphone is going to be picked up. So this would be great for, again, interview conversations. If you're sitting at a round table, you could have the Yeti microphone in the middle of the table and everybody can talk at free will, uh, and the microphone will pick that all up. Or maybe you're uh, a musician and you're sitting on a stool and you've got a table in front of you. You could set the mic down, play the guitar, and sing, and it'll pick everything up just as well. The best part is it's strictly USB plug and play. You don't need a mixer for any of this. You just plug it into your laptop, plug it into your computer. Typically, your computer recognizes it, set the pattern that you need, and away you go. Now, a couple other cool features about it, too. I know this might seem like small compared to the other big deals but it has its own mute button and I know that sounds like a simple little thing but if you're ready to cough or sneeze which I do sometimes here um, you're not looking on the computer for the mute button you are looking right in front of you tap the button mute yourself for a second and then tap again to unmute and carry on it's really handy to have that now, there's a volume control on the front of this microphone why would you need that on the bottom there is a headphone jack. And somebody asked me yesterday, they said, David, why would I need a headphone jack on the microphone? Well, here's what happens. When you want to listen to yourself or any of the other music or, or maybe you're having, a, if you're using it for streaming, you're talking in Discord or chat with the other players, if you plug that directly into the computer, you're going to get some latency. And what that basically means is some delay. So try to talk and then hear a little bit of delay and really throw you off. And you plug it directly into the microphone headphone jack you eliminate almost all of that latency, so you're not really getting any delay. So you get a clear, uh, easier to follow along voice, right? So that's important. It also has gain built on it. Now, a lot of times gain is confused with volume control. So we all know what volume is, but gain, when you turn it up, yeah, the volume can come up, but what it really is doing is picking up more of its surroundings of what's in the room. So if you just wanted to pick up your voice, for example, whoops. If you just wanted to pick up your voice, for example, uh, but your computer's nearby and maybe it picks up that fan sound, you turn the gain down, it's just going to pick up your voice and eliminate some of the sound that's around it. Turn it up more, like if you were playing the guitar or some instruments and you want to be able to pick up the room noise, then you can turn that gain up. So it's really powerful without using a mixing board, just plugging straight into your computer and away you go. And now it's 108 bucks. There's a dad out there somewhere that needs a Blue Yeti microphone. <laughs> All right. I've added some new products uh, in here as well. This is one that I'm actually thinking of getting myself. Um, this is a Wi-Fi projector. And the really awesome thing about this, 549, 36% off, so it's 349. And then on checkout, there's a coupon. You just tap, check off the coupon for another $100 off. So this thing is out the door, $249 plus tax for this 1080p Wi-Fi Bluetooth projector. There's been some great reviews on this. Check them out. I was talking about this earlier. 4.5 or 4.8 star review. People are really happy with this product has its own carrying case as well, and it only weighs about 5.4 pounds. So, great for those family movie nights outdoors, or maybe you're going camping, or you've got a guest room and you wanna offer them a big screen TV, you can have this 
all right there. It's got a remote control for it as well. Uh, zoom in, zoom out. The Wi-Fi is so that you can pick something on your phone or your laptop Wi-Fi and cast from your phone, Android or iOS, or your laptop or computer and play the movie on the projector. It's got two 5-watt speakers, which really fill the room pretty well, but if you needed more enhanced sound, you can connect it directly uh, with a speaker, right, wired, or if you have a Bluetooth speaker, set the Bluetooth speaker up that's convenient for everybody to hear, and voila, you've got your portable sound. So, 549 to 349 to 249. I really, I need to, I need to pull this up here and I wonder if I can. Wi Fi projector native. Wi Fi projector. Oh, I hope I'm on the US. There it is, the Fanger 701. That's it right there. Let me share my screen here with you again because maybe you'll believe me better when you see it. Oops. Switch to camera mode. Got my display there. Okay. So we're going to go like this. There we go. Now you can see my phone. And there it is on the screen right now. Isn't that cool, honey? Sure. Sure. <laughs> what level are you on Candy Crush, honey? Come on, tell me. <laughs> I keep trying to tell her. You know, you can never win. They keep adding more levels. Don't care. Don't care. I know. There it is. Uh, 549 down to $349. $200 off. And then, if I can I zoom in on that? No, I can't. $100 off at checkout. This is an amazing deal at $249. 1080p. Look at the clarity there. There is a video here. I could play it, but I don't have the sound connected. But dad would love that. This would be a great Father's Day gift for sure. I mean, what guy doesn't like, uh, you know, his sports on a great big screen? Or maybe you're a gamer and you want to play games. Uh, this would be great to enhance that experience as well. So um, just some more great products that are on right now. Like, that's $300 savings. It's like practically half off. Why wouldn't you? If you're thinking about buying a projector, uh, check that out in the carousel and have a closer look. Um, this is, I don't own it. I haven't touched it yet, but I know uh, one fellow in particular that does, and it's got some fantastic reviews on Amazon, almost a five-star rating, so uh, you really can't go wrong with that. And I went through a lot, and you know, sometimes you get the negative reviews or whatever. I had a hard time finding anything like that. So, there you go. All right, well, I think I'm going to call it a night because it's getting darker out here, and I'm getting a little scared. Honey, will you protect me? Nope. <laughs> She's busy playing Candy Crush. She can't protect me. But I want to thank all of you for coming by and putting up with me here in the dark tonight. <laughs> Try to plan that a little bit better next time. The children were over, so we didn't want to rush out the door. I was kind of hoping we'd catch a sunset, but maybe tomorrow night we'll catch a sunset. And I hope you'll come back. And the way to be notified when I go live is to make sure you hover over and click that follow button. And uh, help me get to my 2,000. I want to get to 2,000 followers by September 1st and you want to talk about making a guy feel really good if I can pull that off it'll be thanks to all of you and I'll have a super we'll have some kind of a big party right like I don't know we'll uh, we'll, we'll give stuff away what could we give away honey yeah. candy crush could we give away candy crush yeah. no just no, gotta have it you're oh you're not yeah. all right listen everybody thank you so much I really appreciate it uh, you being here, I'll be back again here tomorrow. I hope you got some great deals and some satisfaction out of watching here tonight. I do appreciate you. And uh, stay safe, and as always, happy shopping. Bye for now.